upwards of 3.5 to 3.8 million concussions are diagnosed each year, uh, according to the CDC. And so it's really become a significant health problem, and particularly in the area of sports medicine. Well, the protocol for many years has been the same as it is in the general population, and that is brain rest. Brain rest entails refraining from some of the physical activities that could make symptoms worse. Brain rest has really expanded in athletes over the last several years to include even schoolwork. Now we're beginning to look at could there be other things that we would do that could intervene and speed up the healing. A lot of what we do in treatment initially at sporting events on the sideline and on the court is to ice the knee, the shoulder, the injured part of the body. And one thing we've not really looked at doing before, but we think would be an important thing and may be beneficial now is cooling the brain. So that's the thought behind the cooling cap. The first part is going to be the 10, 15, 20 minutes of diagnosing and seeing if it is a concussion. And once somebody is diagnosed with a concussion, then as soon as possible afterwards, we're going to be applying this soft headgear or cooling cap, if you will. It's a series of straps, but very easily strapped onto the head. It has a strap that goes across the neck, much like a chin guard. And then we're going to need the athlete to wear it for 30 minutes to see if we can affect some benefit. The initial treatment is that it should take place in the first half hour and it should take place for 30 minutes and then three follow-ups at two weeks, four weeks, and 12 weeks. We really need the parent and the athlete to help us here and your trainer is going to be a very important part of this research team. The benefit is we may be able to help a lot of athletes in the future and we may be able to help your athlete now. On the risk side of it, there's very little to no risk at all and it may help us deal with coming up with answers about this very difficult and complex clinical issue known as concussion. You know, Akron Children's was the first sports medicine center at a children's hospital in the year 1988. And in the late 90s, we really got involved in concussion management and putting a brain injury clinic together. And because of the fact that we have lots of high schools and colleges that we cover, we've really gotten the opportunity and the good fortune to be at the forefront of doing some of this necessary concussion research.